Hi, my name is Anul Kujalili. I'm the head of automation at Orbital Composites, and we're at CAMEX 2022 demonstrating our Orbital S robotic 3D printing platform. You see behind me two robots collaborating in our 12 axis printing system, printing an unmanned aerial drone at the moment. You can see a segmented printing strategy where we're actually moving both robots at the same time to print parts in different planes and non planar printing as well. What you see here is the thermoplastic printing head. However, we, do, we have other end effectors that can also print with continuous fibers and two-part thermosets as well that share the same end effector chassis and have a plug-and-play architecture. You can populate the cell with anywhere from one to six robots depending on the process that you would like to follow. But this is by far the most popular configuration where we have two to three robots collaborating on a single part, taking advantage of the added motion space of the robots to build very complex geometries that weren't traditionally possible. So you've mentioned the print head and the, the, the different planes you can print in. How easy is it to run the system and learn the system? Yep, of course. So our intention is to build a end-to-end -end digital platform that comes with this system. Everything you see besides the KUKA robot, which is a, our system partner, is actually custom built and manufactured by us. And the KUKA robot is entirely controlled by our custom real-time software as well. So we're actually building the software that takes your CAD design from a CAD file into what you see behind me, into a real print with this single click of a button. Can, um, what, material, what fibers can you print? What reinforcement? Yep, we can print with continuous carbon fibers, glass fibers, uh, caramid, uh, aramid, Kevlar, and even uh, continuous copper uh, feedstock as long as the diam uh, diameters fit the nozzle. And is there a limitation um, on toe size? Does it always have to be small toe or can you go larger toe? We can, we can print currently with our existing systems with 12K and 24K toes, but it's simply a function of actually the nozzle size. So if there's a specific request and a process where a different toe size is required, then we could simply redesign a smaller or larger orifice to accommodate that. And the applications that you're using, you're showing a, a drone, mm -hmm. but um, what other applications are you involved in or, or you're looking for? Yep, absolutely. So we work heavily in the energy industry by uh, the demonstration of building large wind turbine blades through on-site manufacturing. We're also involved in the athletic wear uh, community where we're building uh, the world's most advanced uh, road biking shoe using uh, continuous carbon fiber reinforcement. Uh, we also as you can see, are involved in the aerospace industry and are hoping to also make parts with our AMCM system uh, for automotive, for low, uh, low cycle time and high volume applications. And do you see a growth in the use of 3D printing in composites and where do you see it coming from? Absolutely. I think the greatest uh, advantage our system adds is in the shift from thermosets to thermoplastics from a sustainability standpoint because uh, the largest problem that's currently facing the wind turbine industry and large aerostructures industry is the recyclability and the waste, everything uh, going to landfills after their end of life. So by using and adva taking advantage of uh, thermoplastic matrix materials, we can actually recycle everything at end of life and uh, recover a lot of valuable materials and uh, shift that back into the process.